Oh shit, we're filming. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here at Uzu with Kiwi from Tai Tai. Kiwi, what was your favorite thing you ate tonight? Um, everything is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> no lie. <laughs> um, every time I come here, these are my, you know. That's your go-to. Yeah, go-to. The poke uh, bowl. Poke bowl or ramen, like, I go back and forth between these two. That's the only thing I would order. Got yeah. it. Yeah. That um, pork belly ramen is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think that's my new favorite. What are your favorite Lakewood businesses? I like Yuzu okay. a lot. <laughs> Here every week. <laughs> Regular. Um, she said when she walks in, she sits down and says, Yuzu fries, please. Yes. <laughs> I don't even have to order. Sit down. They know what to get. <laughs> and then the what are you guys' um, favorite like bakeries and like cupcakes and stuff like that in Lakewood? Oh, um. Actually, I like chocolates. I know you hate chocolates. I'm obsessed with Spears Confections. Me too. Mm -hmm. um, Same. They, and people might not know this, even though they make amazing chocolates, their brownies are the best I had, brownies mm -hmm. I've ever had. Like, my friend asked me, like, what does she even do to the other? They're fucking magic, her yeah. brownies. And she does really cool flavors. She does, a, like, a spicy one. And cool. They're so rich. They're like super rich. Like you can't eat a whole brownie. Yeah. <laughs> so David, hey. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the food. Thank sure. you. So this is David, the owner of Izu. So you and Tai Tai opened around the same time. We did. I didn't realize it. Yeah. Wow. She was two years anniversary. Was St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. And mine will be around Mother's Day. So. Oh cool. wow. I know you were with. A liquor company yeah. before, right? So, mm -hmm. like, how did you start this? Like, what made you, what inspired you to do all this? What's your background in all uh, this? You know, drugs and alcohol. Mostly, you know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, really, what it was is a couple parts. Okay, so my whole background, besides like you know, sales and alcohol marketing, was hospitality. You know, brought back a house for most of my life. So, I think when this place became available, when it was before, it was the right place, at the right time, the right amount of money to do something new, mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, my, old, my speech about there's a lot of places, there's two extremes. There's a lot of dive bars around. And I like dive bars because they're, they're cheap, they're cheap, they're laid back, the service could be hit or miss, they might be unclean, you know, um, stuff like that. But on the opposite end, all these other places are opening up with these higher end places, you know, which had like the food, the service, the decor, and everything was on point. You can't afford to eat there once right. a week. Right. So we need more middle ground. Mm -hmm. And this fit the, the missing gap of middle ground That's around cool. the area, so. This is my hangout spot, actually, like, um, when it's warmer. Oh, the patio is amazing. Patio. Yeah, patio. It's dog patio's friendly, amazing. too, right? You have a menu, right? A dog yeah, menu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. You have a dog menu? Yeah. What's on the dog menu? It's like, you know, like biscuit flights and things like that. <laughs> That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, so cute. cute. What inspired you to do is a kite, right? Yeah, well, I mean, it's the same thing. Like, what would fit in the neighborhood that's kind of missing? And, and it's kind of like an inspiration point because it's like a neighborhood bar in Japan. Yeah. It's almost like akin to like an Irish pub where it's a little nicer hospitality. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but you still keep things, you know, affordable. You yeah. know, you use things locally the best you can. And, uh, you know, it's definitely Asian influence, but it's kind of like a lot of international notes to it. So. Yeah. How do you come up with? Like all the names, my, I mean, they're my favorite menu the names. names. Yeah. Uh, the cocktail names. Yeah. Amazing. Right. Like I just come sometimes just to like read the new names. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. How do you come up with all this stuff? Uh, I don't know. Again, drugs and alcohol are a big part. <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, I just think, you know, I'm big, I don't know, online, the stuff that resonates with like, especially like, like the younger generation. So. Yeah. yeah. And I like how he put emoji. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And all the events. You guys got voted best. Oh, events okay. by Clue the Magazine, right? Right, yeah, 2017. Yeah. We infuse a lot of pop culture in here. Yeah, yeah, David, thank you for everything. This yeah, yeah, thank you very much. You thank really you like us. spoiled us. Yeah, and <laughs> Kiwi, thanks for coming. Thank you. We'll definitely have to do this again. Yeah. Well, thank you. All right, thank, thank you, you for the food. Yeah. You rock. Thanks for having us. Thanks.
Well, thank you guys for joining us um, for our third A Meal With. I'm going to finish this ramen, so you guys might want to not watch what happens right. after this. <laughs> Thanks!